he's going to testify that some direct payments were made to you, but you don't know anything about that? No, I don't know about that. Why were you making direct payments to him when it, when it was court ordered to, to be paid through the registry of the court? Any direct payments are considered a gift to Mr. Selden. Well, those payments cannot and should not be discounted because that's money out of my household. Well, actually, it, you didn't make those payments. You're saying your husband made them, right? Well, I would like to submit that this child support reduction to zero dollars per month. I am in severe dire strait. I'm not going to make any more payments to him. So if you want to send me to jail, then you can do that. Yeah, let me do a little checker and then because this thing was filed when uh, back when I was still a lawyer. That's exactly right. It's uh, the, the child support at the time was payable through the Bell County Courthouse. So uh, it's quite oh, old. Yeah. You know, they, we had it. We had a, uh, the clerk's office had a uh, child support division. Yeah. Oh, that I guess. Wait one minute here. One. Let me see when this thing was filed. All right. Let's see. Buck Major was with you guys then. This is when George was the. Let me double check. Make sure we're not. Was filed. This case was filed in 2018. Okay, I'm just trying to make sure that I wasn't anywhere near it. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, making sure we're not past the statute of limitations on this. It was filed in 2018, and the uh, child support ended in 2011. So we're good. We're good. Okay. It was filed before the tenure. All right, good enough. Here, here we go. Okay. All this stuff is from 2018. This meeting is being recorded. Court's on the record, and this is uh, Bell County College number 176,990-8. This is a 27th Judicial District Court of uh, Bell County, Texas, as in the interest of uh, Sedavia uh, Sheldon, uh, at the time, minor child. Non-custodial party being Ronnie uh, Yvette Houston, custodial party being Bobby uh, Selden. And this matter is before the court on a motion to confirm arrears. The court is taking judicial notice of the court file, notes on the record that they're uh, both parties have uh, previously uh, been noticed and served that uh, Miss uh, uh, Houston is uh, also under the last name of Snow. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll figure that out in just a moment. Anyway, the court will also know that uh, Mr. Selden has filed several different items with the court, including different motions uh, uh, since the, serve, since the uh, uh, filing of this matter. This matter was actually filed back in 2018, uh, but it's just now being heard. So at this time, I asked the state for an opening to tell the court what the state's requesting we do here today, what you understand the agreements and contests to be, and uh, we'll take it from there. Thank you. Your Honor, the state filed a motion to confirm the child support arrears, to obtain a judgment on those child support arrears. That, that is the only issue before the court today. The mother is claiming direct payment credits to Mr. Selden, and Mr. Selden states he never received those payments. All right, then. Uh, Ma'am, how do you pronounce your last name? My last name is Snow. Okay, I'm sorry. Your first name, I'm sorry. Ashalayan. Ashalayan Snow, okay. All right, then. Uh, Ms. Snow uh, and Mr. Sheldon, I'm going to go ahead and uh, swear you both in. And okay. like I said, the only thing before the court today are the, uh, is the state's motion uh, to confirm arrears. Uh, and uh, uh, Ms. Snow, uh, if you're claiming direct payments, the burden of proof falls on you to prove that the direct payments actually were received by Mr. Sheldon. Uh, uh, one way or the other, these days it's always, you know, we got electronic uh, got transfer, Zale, uh, uh, Venmo, all those things, which are very, very easy to do. But uh, anything else, ma'am, you'll have to show that uh, the rent payments were paid and that they were paid for the purposes of child support. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and ask you both to uh, 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 raise your right hands. And Miss Snow, if you can turn the video and raise your right hand, please, ma'am. All right, you raise your right hand, please. Do both of you solemnly swear or affirm the testimony going to give this court today is the truth, the whole truth, and that but the truth will help you? I do. I do. All right, you're both officially under oath. You can put your hands down. I'll go ahead and let the state call you both as individual witnesses. At the end of the hearing, if there's anything you think I need to know that's relevant to what we're doing here today, then I'll allow you to go ahead and tell the court that information, and the court will <clears> make what we're reading, but ruling. But right now, the only thing before the court appears to be the motion to, uh, to confirm uh, uh, un unpaid child support at this time, and I'll ask the state to go ahead and call their first witness, please. Thank you. I call Bobby Selden. Mr. Selden, you're the father of Sedavia Selden, correct? Yes, sir. And uh, Sedavia is now is now over the age of 18, correct? Yes, sir. When did do you know when she turned 18? Was it uh, June of 2011, right? Turn eighteen in um, 
April, uh, I think uh, April of 2011. Okay, April of 2011, and then she graduated in June of that year? Um, yes, yeah. from high school, yes. Yeah. Okay, and what we are doing today is to confirm a child support arrears uh, from an order dated September 28, 2000. And you had custody of the child uh, due to that order, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Did the child ever live with Miss Snow for any period of time other than visitation while the child was a minor? No, sir. Okay. Did she make any direct payments to you that you're aware of? No, sir. Okay. Now, she had, she's going to testify that, that some direct payments were made to you, but you don't know anything about that? No, sir. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. Um. Your Honor, I'd like, what I'd like to do is offer States Exhibit 1. This is going to be the pay record. All right, I've got two here, too. All right, folks, uh, this was all included in the pleadings, folks. Oh, it yeah. is. We'll I have you. the updated pay record, then, Your Honor. I'd like to have the updated one. All right, I think this is the updated one. Let's see. Well, oh, yes, I apologize. That is what I emailed uh, your, your coordinator. Yes, right, I emailed. Yeah, yeah, this is this is uh, through uh, the 31st of uh, uh, March of this year. All yes, right, that's folks. correct. This is state's exhibit number one. This shows what funds have been paid through for child support through the state's disbursement unit in this case. Is there any legal reason, Mr. Sheldon, this should not come into evidence at this time, sir? I'm sorry, say again. Is there any reason the pay record in your case should not come into evidence at this time, sir? Mm, there's no reason. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Snow, any objection to coming to evidence, ma'am? I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Ma'am, uh, the state internet is uh, giving the court the information showing what the payments that have been made in your case through the state disbursement unit, the proper place it should have been sent. Is there any reason that the court should not be able to review this information, ma'am? No. All right, states one is admitted and the state may proceed. And Your Honor, I just want to let you know as an officer of the court that the, the payments were originally ordered through the Bell County District Clerk's Office. That's how old the order is. Uh, the financial department did obtain the records from Bell County and, and updated our pay record to reflect all payments that went through the clerk's office. All right, okay. folks, stage one is admitted, and you may proceed at this time, Mr. Uh, Moon, with your testimony. Thank you. Okay, I, and I passed the witness. I, I don't have any more questions for Mr. Sheldon. All right, Ms. Sheldon, uh, you've been passing the witness. Just hang on. I'll go ahead and let the state call the next witness, and we'll get some information from Ms. Snow. Thank you. Okay. I call uh, Achalate Layan Snow. Ms. Snow, you're the and you are the mother of uh, of Sedavia, correct? I am the mother of Sedavia India Seldon. That is correct. And so, in, and of course, you understand that I don't represent you, and I don't represent Mr. Sel Seldon. We're just trying to confirm what the actual balance is on child support. You understand that, right? I do understand. Okay. Now. Um, you advise me that you that your husband made some direct payments to Mr. Sheldon. That is correct. And those direct payments would have been made after the order went into effect in September of 2000, right? That is correct. Okay. And uh, in what you provided me today, I believe it is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, like eight payments that were made, correct? And okay. And your honor, I've provided, Provided, I believe, a copy to Mr. Selden. I showed it to him, but I'll offer States Exhibit 2 for the purposes of... Uh, do you have a copy of that? Yeah, I guess I do. The court has States Exhibit Number 2, which is the uh, alleged payments that were made directly uh, uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Sheldon. Uh, okay. uh, right now, uh, again, uh, um, I haven't given him credit one way or the other, but is there any reason the court should not be able to review this information uh, at this time, Mr. Sheldon? No, sir. All right. All right, and any objection, Ms. Snow? No. Nope. All right, stage two is going to be admitted. I'm going to let the state go ahead and proceed with questioning you on these items, ma'am. Thank you. In your honor, it might help if I screen shared just for so we could show uh, uh, the parties so they can testify about this. Is that no okay? Problem. Go right ahead. Thank you. I'm going to screen share states. <laughs> okay. And Ms. Snow, this is basically, these are all the copies that you provided uh, to the Office of the Attorney General, right? It's, it's, uh, Looks like it has eight receipts. That is correct. Those are the receipts that I could find at the time, providing okay. different different time frames of different payments that went out into his household. Okay. 
I couldn't find them all, but those that I found, I submitted. Okay. And what what are the what is this? Are these um these aren't checks or anything? Is it, how did you money order? Oh, they're money orders. I see. Okay. And they were mailed directly to Mr. Selden? That that is correct. Okay. And they were mailed for child support, correct? That is correct. I, right. I mean apologize. Move that little thing there. Okay. And so as we look at this. The, uh, they're kind of turned sideways here, but that first one at the top left, it appears to be for $500, and that was dated April 22nd, 2003, right? Okay, correct? No, that's what it says, yes. Yes, yes. Because then the, on, the next one after. to the right is for $550. It's upside down, but it's $550, and it appears to be dated May the 3rd of 2012. Correct. Right. As I stated, they're from different time frames. Okay. Now you go down here to the next row, and this is where it's cut off. Okay. The one on the far left, it's for five hundred and fifty dollars, and it's dated February the third, but it doesn't have the year. Oh well. That's why I was asking. Do you have these in front of you, where you could tell us the year of that? I do not. I couldn't find them. Okay. Now, why were why were you sending in the five fifty when the child support was only like a hundred dollars a month? Because at the time we were in we were stationed in Germany and we felt that it would benefit the child if we sent more than what was uh, what was ordered. I understand. Okay. Then you have a payment here of um, I can't in the middle one here five hundred and fifty. It says it's July, but it doesn't have a date or a year. Correct. This one here in the middle. The one in the middle. Uh, it's, oh. it's upside down. I could re rotate it, but okay, I it can just, see. Okay, okay, okay. It just says that's the month right there, July. No date, no, no, no year, but for five fifty. Okay. Do you know when you sent this? Uh, no. If the date's not on there, I couldn't honestly say what date it was sent. Okay, and the date isn't on this one either on the far left. And then there's one here for three hundred and two fifty, June fifteenth, two thousand six. Okay, and we go down here to the next row, and you said it appears to be five hundred and fifty dollars, dated December third, two thousand eleven. The next one is a hundred dollars, uh, dated April twenty second, two thousand three, and the final one's five hundred and fifty, dated March third, twenty twelve. Is that correct? Okay. Now the the, the 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 2003 is closer to when the original or when the when the amount was originally set, but later on we decided it would benefit her if we sent a little bit more. Okay. But then these are all the this is all the proof that you have, correct? Yeah, that's all I can find. Plus, um, you should have records of where you kept my tax returns. Yes, that's all. You that's should have, you have records for the last four years of where you've taken payment out of my, out of my income. There is no overpayment to the state. There is no back payment for Sadavia India Selden as far as child support is concerned. Okay, now, now Miss Snow, just to let you know. You were sending these direct payments. You, you mailed them, it says here, directly to 1411 Illinois Avenue and Colleen. Did you write that on there? That is, that's where they went. Yes, that's where the payments went. And as per the order, it says the child support of $100 per month with first payment being due payable July 5, 2000, and the like payment being due and payable on the first day of each month thereafter until the first month following the date of the earliest occurrence of the one event specified until the child reaches the age of 18 years old. Right. Now, the reason we also sent hey, more money. Ma'am, ma 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 stop, 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 ma'am. Order, order, order. You're going to ma'am, stop. You're, you're not allowed to go there to the state. You're the witness now. The state's going to ask you questions. Just right. answer questions and stop. We know what the... I got the court order. I can read the order myself. That's not a problem, ma'am. So, but this, no, this address that you mailed this is that Mr. Selden's address, or, or was it Mr. Selden's address? That was the address. Yes, that's the address he has listed on the order. I see. Okay. Now, 
why were you making direct payments to him when it, when it was court ordered to, to be paid through the registry of the court? No, it was not court ordered to be paid to the registry of the court because it says right here that it just says the $100 a month per month due with the first payment. It doesn't say where. It said it was to be paid to Bobby Seldon right. by me, Ashalaya Snow. I understand. So, so you just said that word to send it. July 5th of 2000. Okay, it's actually in the order to be payable to the registry. It's in the order to be table to the registry. What do you mean? I should have had that. It's on It's on a different page. It tells you where to send it. Which page is it on? Because I'm looking at the order right now. Well, the court, court will have a copy of it. And Ms. Snow, were you represented by an attorney when this order was done? Uh, Yes. Okay, you had an attorney? Which page? I like to know which page that was on, please, because I'm looking at this order and there is no such page here. Okay. There's no such page. There's nothing here that says that, that I was entitled with that I was entangled with the state. It's on page six. It was in the Oak County Courthouse until it was uh until they stopped doing that, and then all the payments went through the registry of to the state disbursement. <clears throat> But we would have notified you. But you said it was in the order. What page is it on? I need that. Page six. Page six. Okay, yes. let's go to page six. Two, three, five, and six. It says right here. It's the the set the paragraph second from the from the bottom there. It tells you where to make the payments. It says on this date, the court signed an employer's order to withhold from earnings for child support. On the next sentence. In this order, all payments shall be made through the Bell County Courthouse Child Support Office. Okay. Yes, that's how we keep the record of it. So by law, any direct payments are considered a gift to Mr. Selden unless the court decides to give credit for it. So that's going to be an issue for the court to decide. But by law, you, you're required to send the payments to a central registry to get credit. Okay, well, those payments cannot and should not be discounted because that's money out of my household. Well, actually, you didn't make those payments. You're saying your husband made them, right? That's my household. Okay, gotcha. Okay. All right. All right. I passed the witness, Your Honor. All right, here's the deal, ma'am. I know you're not a lawyer. If you want to uh, reset this to go talk to a lawyer, I'll let you do that. But the line, uh, uh, Mr. S uh, Selden is saying he didn't receive those funds. There's nothing on these receipts to show where they went, how they went, and whether or not there, there's no endorsements. These are not checks. Uh, there's no proof that he's actually received those funds, ma'am. Uh, do you have anything to show that he actually received a, a verification from him by letter or mail that he received them or, or, anything? or anything? First of all, no, I don't. And second of all, I don't know anyone who would uh, who would return down free, free money. OK, and allow this to go on the record. I have paid and paid and paid into this. And now that I'm in dire straits, I have no way of making any more payments to Bobby Selvin. So I'm not. What I am going to submit is that a reduction of child support be made in the amount of zero dollars per month because I'm not going to make any more payments to him. So if you want to send me to jail, then you can do that. Just tell me That's where to report you, you because I'm not you going through this stop. and I'm tired of this. In this court, ma'am. You are going to jail, ma'am. You hear me? Stop it. Do not yell at this court. We're not. This is my court, ma'am, and I don't give a dang how mad you get. Now I'm angry, and if I get angry, you could get out of jail by the time the uh, the uh, first bowl game is played next year in football. Do you want to do that, ma'am? Because I can. Make I am it not yelling. I can make it happen, ma'am. So here's the deal: don't yell at me. I'm not yelling. I'm simply speaking up so everyone can hear me because okay, everybody well, keeps going in and out, in and out. In and out. Okay, ma'am, it's coming across as if this. You're coming in loud and clear on me. It sounds like you're yelling at me, okay? Well, no, I'm not yelling, but when you okay, talk, here's, here's, here's I can't hear you. Ma am, ma am. I, I don't, you probably can't afford a lawyer. 
Uh, that may be the fact, man, but I've got to hold you to the same standards if you're an attorney. There's no motion before this court by uh, you with notice on Mr. Selden that, uh, for any type of affirmative cause of action. In, in other words, if you're asking me to do something, you've got to file it and you've got to serve it and you've got to notice it and you got to notice the stake you're asking for. You just can't come to court the only day and say, this is what I want to do. It's just that's not the way it's done. You got served with a copy of the paperwork. You knew what was going to happen today, and he's entitled to that same type of notice. So the only thing I got before the court right now is a state's request to reduce this to a judgment. And uh, I, the simple question I have: Do you have any proof that Mr. Selden uh, received any of these funds? Because right now, ma'am, I can't even know. There's nothing to show who these even made out to. This is not even a U.S. money, a uh, postal money, or at least lets you fill in the blanks the show is being sent to. Okay, but then you do have copies of where my you do have copies of where my state tax income was taken and for the last four years. Okay, here's the deal, ma'am. Uh, everything that's been received by the state for from you from income tax, whatever, has been calculated into the pay record. Go page by page through that pay record and you'll see what you've been given credit for. Well, I would like to submit that this uh, uh, child support reduction to zero dollars per month. It's denied, ma'am, because it's not properly before the court this time in, a, in the form of a pleading, ma'am. Okay, well, I first of all, I didn't ask to come to court. Someone else drug me into court. Ma'am, that's the way court works. Do you, do you know people who like going to court? That's the way court works. You've been served and noticed that this is something that's uh, been trying to be taken care of. This is a lawsuit from a long time ago, and uh, uh, these are the uh, and and the state's trying to uh, uh, finalize this and get it taken care of because it's never been finished up, ma'am. It's there's you're alleged to owe a certain amount of money, and the court's looking at uh, the information. It, it says that over this time frame. Uh, uh, they, and with interest, it's, it's, and Texas has judgment interest, uh, that you should have paid $23,319.12. Uh, you paid $12,486.58, which leaves a balance of $10,832.54. This is not a current child support. This is old child support uh, that is still uh, owed uh, uh, to Mr. Selden. Well, allow me to make this statement again. I am in severe dire straits and there is absolutely no way I can make any more payments on this right. phenomenon. All right, ma'am, well, here's the deal. Under, under, uh, under what's this norm, I've got to reduce this to a judgment and there's no new child support owed, but I do have to reduce the amount that you still owe to a judgment. And I got to order a, a repayment amount that covers the interest uh, plus something that's going to reduce it down. The interest alone on this thing going forward is about $50 a month. So the normal payment on something like that is an additional $50 to $75 a month. So I would look at ordering you to repay. And uh, uh, I can keep it at, a, I can order it at 100 because I think that's what the old amount was supposed to be anyway. But uh, again, ma'am, it's going to be somewhere. The repayment on this is 100 to 125 dollars uh, until it's paid off in full, and it's been it's been charged six percent per month against you, which means fifty dollars a month. So, Miss Snow, do you have any again, questions? Yes, I am. I am in extreme dire straits, and there is no way I can pay fifty dollars a month if that is what you said. Because as I said, you keep coming in and out. I can't really hear you. So if you're saying that you're making a judgment for me to pay fifty dollars a month, I am in extreme dire straits at this time, and there is no way I can make a payment of fifty dollars a month. Okay, ma'am, that's not what I said. The interest alone is fifty dollars a month on your case. You're coming in loud and clear on I am. I'm not sure what's happening on yours. Because so again, ma'am, you're coming in at high volume here. So right now, ma'am, the judgment is going to be ten thousand and some change. I'm looking at an order repayment of a hundred dollars a month, and I've got no way around that, ma'am. That's what the law requires me to do. If you Your Honor, the only other issue would be court costs. I don't know if you want to waive them or sell them. I'll waive the court cost. Uh, I'll let the county eat that. But again, uh, she says she's not. But again, ma'am, uh, I, I can't take into consideration. Uh, even if you show the court 
what the dire straits were. Right. I'm a DRNL addict. Only, the only thing I could do is adjust it to make sure that uh, uh, the, the interest is made plus something toward the principal. And the interest alone is $50 a month, ma'am. Yeah, right. And right now, I've got no testimony or nothing showing what your current income is, what your current circumstances are, and what your current uh, 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 bills are, and so forth and so on. Those are the kind of things the court needs to have uh, to have enough data to make a determination on what the court should order. And the old child support amount is at $100. I usually order it always at the old child support amount, but I can make adjustments. But right now, the adjustments would still be that right around that $100 a month mark. So, ma'am, unless uh, uh, you want to give me some testimony of what your circumstances are, uh, how much you get, what uh, 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 what what your sources are, and what your uh, monthly bills are, I'm looking at having to go for it with at least the uh, at at the hundred dollar month amount, ma'am. I did send in what my monthly bills were. You have a record of that. I sent that in with the notice request. Your Honor, I didn't provide that to you. I know, I know. She thinks you remember. It wasn't sent to me. It was sent for as far as information for the state. I, everything that comes before the court has to come in the form of evidence. I mean, I might get it. You're not a lawyer. Right, so so, right so now, you have I, that. No, ma'am, I do not have that. <laughs> it has not been presented as evidence in the court, ma'am. Okay, so why, why, why not? That's evidence of the court that I am in extreme dire straits and I can't make these payments. Your Honor, I'd be happy to send her, send uh, the letter that she sent itemizing her bills. If you want to send it? Go ahead, send it over. Okay, I'll send it. Thank you. Sure. Let's see. All right, ma'am, what do you do for a living now? I am unemployed right now. All right. And uh, are you getting any type of disability? I am not disabled. All right. When's the last time you had full or part time employment, ma'am? Uh, three months ago. And what were you doing for a living then, ma'am? I worked for the state of Texas. All right. And uh, why did you? Uh, and what did you do for the state of Texas, ma'am? I was uh, an admin assistant for the benefit and payment uh, department. Uh, which department, ma'am? Benefit and payment department. Okay, and uh, uh, and who did that fall under? Was that the executive branch? Was that uh, uh, law enforcement? Who? Which uh, which uh, department did you actually work for, ma'am? That would be Texas Workforce Commission. All right, good enough. And how long did you work for them? Uh, three years. All right, and why did you leave that position, ma'am? Uh, they just asked me to leave. I didn't leave. They asked me to leave. All right. Are you currently getting any any type of unemployment? I do not. All right. Did you apply? No. All right, ma'am. Uh, what's your, uh, uh, okay. Are you looking for current employment, ma'am? Yeah. I am. All right, ma'am. And uh, what are your prospects at this time? My prospects for employment at this time is, well, I'm currently going through a program, a certification to teach social studies grade four through eight, starting this upcoming year. Providing I can get through the program. I mean, what city do you live in? Uh, clean. All right. And have you put in for any type of part time employment or anything else, ma'am, in the interim? I have applied for, uh, I am still currently looking for employment. Nothing has come up yet. Your Honor, I mean, uh, I don't know if you want to consider the NCP Choices program. This was just a confirmation of arrears, you know, but uh, it could help her. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, you know, that, that's through the Workforce Commission. So, uh, ma'am, uh, uh, would you be interested in the NCP Choices program? Yes. All right. Let's put it in with an NCP Choices program person and see if she's eligible for that. And let's go off the record for a few minutes to see how whether or not that's uh, something that's appropriate. And obviously, they will help her look for, for position. <laughs> Your Honor, I've emailed the letters. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna go off the record for a moment, ma'am. Uh, and Mr. Uh, Sheldon, I hate to make you hang around, sir, but I, I need to come up with an order. And uh, I, I really, uh, and right now, I may be only looking at a temporary order to cover the interest while we are uh, waiting to see uh, uh, Ms. Snow get full-time employment. 
uh, our part-time employment, or should we just start charging against the interest of, uh, 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 or against the principal, against the principal, so we can get this thing down? But if for right now, let's go ahead and get her into a breakout room with the NCP choices rep, and and kind of have her come back in to see what their results of that are. Okay. So at this time, Ms. Uh, Snow, I want you to hang around. Let's get you in with NCP choices, and uh, we'll come back on the record where I can figure out how I want to set up the. Uh, uh, the payments going forward, as far as at least the temporary order is concerned, uh, on the uh, what's owed on the uh, 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 on the judgment amount. I'm, I'm going to move her to breakout room. All right, Mr. Selden, do you have any questions, sir? You're muted, sir. No, sir, I have no questions. All right, again, yeah, sir, I hate to make you hang around a while, but let me let me go and see what we can do on this one, and we're off the record for now. Thank you. Do I hang up? No, hang around, sir. Hey. Hang around. We're trying to try your Honor, we never could get, get a hold of Miss Manley. So, I mean, we're we're not opposed to, on that case making that a temp order. Voices. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. All right, then. Tell you what, let me go ahead and take care of this one. And uh, all right, okay, let's go ahead and look at making an attempt, and we go ahead and uh, I'll do an order assigning her uh, to the NCP Choices Program and let her check in with that. And for right now, I'll go ahead and reduce the judgment, the child support I got to. But right now, I'm, I'll only order payments that will cover the interest, and let's see what we get back in the next uh, 30 to 60 days, and see what an update on our current employment circumstances are. Uh, Judge Nelson. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, Texas Workforce Commission is not going to be able to assist me for legal I'm, reasons. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Texas Workforce Commission will not have the ability to assist me for legal reasons. That is why she's not showing up. Okay, well, ma'am, again, uh, I'll get that from them and confirm that. But for right now, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put you in the program. If it turns out for legal reasons they can't do it, then obviously they can't do it, ma'am. But I am going to go ahead and make this a temp order, and I'm going to reset this for about 60 days out. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and reduce the judgment for child support. I got no uh, uh, choice, ma'am. And I'll order repayment at $50 a month starting the first day of May because that's the interest on this thing. And it doesn't need to be going up. And when we come back, the court will look at ordering uh, 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 a different amount based on what your circumstances are at that point to cover some of the principal and start trying to reduce this down and see what kind of job you've been able to find of your own. If case NCP choices can't help you, uh, the bottom line is, ma'am, that, that, that's the best I can do under these circumstances. And I'll wait for you to get your uh, financial house in a little bit better uh, order and, and get some better circumstances going to see if, if you can find a job on your own through another source. Now. Your Honor, do you want to give us a quick give us a for the final hearing? Okay, she's got a lot of feedback coming. Let me, I'll, 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 let me look at a date. Uh, let me look at this, the code, the zooms, and I'll let, I'll let you know which one. Just a second here. All right, let's look at Thursday, June the 20th, uh, zero Zoom docket. Okay. All right, ma'am, I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, do this as a temp, and I'm going to bring you back on the uh, 20th of June, 2024, at 9 a.m. on the general docket to review and see whether or not you've gotten a new job and what your current and what those circumstances look like. And at that point, I'll be looking at making a final order uh, 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 that will uh, include uh, some principal payments towards your arrearages so at this time uh miss uh snow do you have any other questions ma'am okay i just want to make sure that i understood you correctly so are you saying everything's on hold until uh thursday june 20th no ma'am that's not what i said i said that number one i reduce your child support to judgment that's the ten thousand dollars that was discussed earlier instead of ordering you to make payments that will cover both interest and uh, 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 principal, I'm only going to cover the interest. So I'm ordering you to pay $50 a month starting the first day of May, which means you owe 50 May 1, you owe 50 June 1, and I'm bringing you back on June the 20th to see what the final amount of payment will be based on what your circumstances are at that point, ma'am. Okay, and, so and you're putting your choices, correct? Yeah, I'm still going to order choices, ma'am, but if they can't do anything for you, obviously, before legal reasons, then, uh, uh, then, uh, then you're, you're, you're on your own in finding a position, ma'am, okay? Okay. Okay, so I've, I've already made it clear that I can't, I can't afford $50 a month. So if I can't make these payments, then what? 
ma'am, I can't give you legal advice. You're asking me a legal question. I mean, you, you, I, I understand. I understand that. So, but you're ordering me to pay fifty dollars a month, and I've already, I've already yes, explained yes, that. Yes, ma'am, 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 ma'am. I've heard the explanation, and it's not going to be, it's not going to get you away from having to pay this uh, amount of money. Okay, fifty dollars a month. That's that's the lowest I can go. And when we come back in June, I'll be looking at raising that amount. So whatever you got to do to try to, you know, uh, you say you're not disabled, you say you can't get disability. So, uh, so uh, ma'am, once you get a job, then I'll look at it going forward. But for right now, that's what the court's going to order is at $50 a month for the next two months. All right. Uh, and, well, and that's the ruling of the court, ma'am. Mr. Shel Mr. Selden, do you have any questions, sir? Uh, no, sir. All right, Miss Snow, anything else, ma'am? Are we done? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Your Honor, before they leave, I'm going to send them the order to, to approve by of, to approve as the form. All right, the state's going to go ahead and send you a copy of the today's order uh, to approve as the form, which means it's just what the court ordered. You don't have to sign off on it. If you don't, I'm, it still will be sent to me, and I will sign it, and it will become the order of this court. So, but the state, uh, by, by the fact that you are both your own representatives, the state will forward you a copy of this court. Okay. Okay. Are the parties free to go at this time? Yes, John. Yes, John. Both free to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.